In other matters, perhaps a bit more pertinent to the case here, there is talk among the sheriff personnel that Kemper will be transferred to either Soledad Prison or San Mateo County Jail for security purposes, and because some of the other inmates in the Santa Cruz County Jail are becoming uneasy over his presence here. His attorney Jackson said he would protest such a move because of the time delay involved. In any event, Kemper is due back in court here June 6th. Pat O'Brien, Eyewitness News, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz County Sheriff spokesman say Kemper tried twice last Monday to kill himself by attempting to cut an artery in his arm with a ballpoint pen clip. He was taken to a hospital after the attempt was discovered, received six stitches to close the wound, and when returned to jail, put in a cell by himself under close surveillance. In court today, his attorney requested and received a week's delay in the proceedings. Kemper is charged with killing his mother, a friend of hers, and six college co-eds. He gave reporters an envelope as he walked by them in the hall on the way into court. Inside was a form letter, apparently from the committee to re-elect President Nixon, since the first family's picture was on the front of it, and a thank you for campaign effort message inside, along with the mimeographed signatures of the president and his family. Kemper's Santa Cruz address was on the envelope. It bore a Washington postmark dated April 26th, two days after Kemper was arrested in Pueblo, Colorado. Kemper's attorney could not shed much light on this rather strange development. It was mailed to him. Apparently it came yesterday. Did he have an active role in the, in the campaign? You know? He voted against Mr. Nixon. <laughs> against Mr. Nixon? That's what he told me. And how would he get this letter? You have to ask the committee to re-elect the president.